Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Craig here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. First of all, I would like to thank you for all returning viewers. Uh, I appreciate your company and appreciate all the discussions that we have uh, over the time with all appliances that I review. For people that are new to my channel, why do I call my channel uh, un unedited, uncut and no bull? Because that was the exact reason why I started my channel. So many reviews on YouTube are scripted, are paid for by other companies. Uh, I guess um, I wouldn't call them fabricated, but they show only beautiful sides of products reviewed. And I'm here to make a difference and actually say how it is. So if you're after this and not something glamorous, you know, with all like visual effects and glamour of the product, uh, please stick around and today we'll be reviewing High Zero Bionic Mop and the reason of buying one. So I'm not reviewing mop itself, I will do a couple of uh, mopping experiences here and I review products separately. Today we do unboxing, but before unboxing I would like to guide you uh, why did I get this one and not anything else. By anything else, I mean there are really capable things in the market. You've got, uh, so this is B Cell Evolution Pro X2, but you've got uh, one from B Cell Co Cross Wave, that's another hard floor mop. Uh, Karcha got really uh, good appliance called FC7, and also you've got High Zero, uh, got uh, old uh, version of this Bionic mop, is version. Uh, model 801 I think and this is model 803 which is um, I wouldn't call it next generation it's more evolution of the same product and then we'll touch I will touch about those evolutions quite soon but first of all I would like to explain why I choose high zero before I unpack it so I already got a uh, revolution uh, pro heat 2x pro and I really wanted to mop my floors with that appliance. So that's a carpet cleaner. But in a manual, they say you can buy hard floor attachment and use it as a, as a hard floor cleaner. First of all, um, I could not find an attachment in Australia and they say register your interest uh, for buying one. And uh, I registered my interest around half a year ago and still there is no stock in Australia. So it's a first deterrent. Then I watched reviews from the United States where people say, all right, we bought that uh, hard floor attachment. Can you explain us how it cleans the floor when it elevates the appliance and all these brushes not even touching the floor? And other people report that there's a lot of streaks, a lot of water left uh, behind. So I kind of gave up on the idea. That would be really nice if one appliance could do carpet cleaning and hard floor cleaning. This appliance is not designed for that. So as much as I like it for uh, carpet cleaning, and you can find a couple of my videos of unboxing and cleaning results up there, I'll put it on the link above, uh, should pop up now. Um, I do not like how it performs on the hard floor because it's more hassle than it's worth it. So it leaves so much mess, so I just give up on this. Now, before buying proper designed mop, reason why I would buy one is I put 120 meters square meters of tiles and there's nothing wrong with my physical ability to mop the floor but it takes me around one hour and a half to do it properly and that is just you know I do after vacuuming and after prepping and then not walking on the floor because it's still wet so cleaning of this property takes me half day uh, and it's just too much effort and I don't believe I can scrub this floor to the, to the um, I guess, cleanliness that I wanted to. And then I still got part here when it's a little bit more dirty because you've got a soot from the street and, and people mowing the lawns, all the dust and dirt. So I wanted the plants that I actually can mop the 120 meters and probably 20 meters of patio within half an hour. So my research uh, was focused on Bissell Crosswave, uh, Karcher, I think it's called FC7. Uh, it's a dual brush kind of uh, mopper and High Zero. 
And I started with the simple reviews, what people say, what they experience, and it looks like the Karcher and Crossway from uh, Bissell both live in streaks on the floor. And they utilizing um, mopping and then vacuuming as a suction. This is the only appliance from High Zero that is bionic, so it's designed very interestingly and I'll show you soon what's the idea of that appliance. But in a nutshell, you've got a very soft foamy kind of roller that throws and picks up everything and scrubs the floor and kind of flicks it into the tray. And then you've got other brush that also sweeps the floor. So High Zero recommends not to uh, vacuum, well, they're not recommending, they say you don't have to vacuum floors before um, uh, mopping them. When others from Karcher and from uh, uh, Bissell say, well, uh, like the ideally you would, you would uh, uh, vacuum your floor. So not that I'm not vacuuming my floor, I'm vacuuming my floors, but uh, the reviews online, uh, people that written reviews are most uh, I guess encouraging from High Zero. Now, um, you know, me being me, I contacted High Zero and contacted Karcha and contacted Bissell about their products. And I tell you what, that is a point that makes difference for me uh, after you purchase appliance. How do they care about customer after you spend your money? So Karcha totally ignored me. They just did not answer any questions like we're too big, don't worry, our product is good. So they had like a slightly arrogant stance. And I hope, you know, I'm wrong, but that's my impression as a customer. None of my emails were answered. So Bissell, uh, I contacted them two times. First about hard floor attachment. Uh, and second one is uh, about the other plants. They replied to me, but it was mostly, look, uh, you can use what we've got. And we're not gonna work with you. Had zero people while well, they told me that they not gonna pay me any favors so this review is uh, not paid for and this review is I bought this appliance with my own money they said not they're gonna sponsor me their product is good and I can use it but they actually had my hell all the way until I purchased it they answer all my questions uh, the person that was answering actually got a funny feeling that the person actually CEO of the company or at least um, Australian side of it it's just impressive that I was not neglected as a customer even before I purchased their appliance so reviews online um, attitude of the customer service made me to purchase this one and I believe uh, I made the right choice so I have no idea, as you can see, it's got just delivered. Let's unbox it, let's see what's inside, let's assemble it. And after I assemble it, I think it requires four to five hours of charging. I create another video when I mop my entire house, which is 120 square meters of tiles and the patio, which I believe will be even more challenging because it's a lot of dust there. Uh, and I report to you what do you think about the plants. So let's unpack and also when we're unpacking, I will show you what's the difference between previous generation and current generation of the same uh, mop. Uh, a lot of features got retained, but it's just an improvement. So there's not revolution, that's evolution of cell appliance. Okay, let's go for it. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. So while I'm unboxing, I would like to say that uh, uh, it is expensive appliance and uh, I won't blame anyone who thinks that mopping the floor is the best way to go but there's a lot of videos why mopping is not the best solution for floors you've got crevasses, you've got grout and other things that um, really not you're not doing any favor to those places when you are mopping and also if you think about it, it's like uh, I have kids and I've got 120 meters of hard floor uh, those spillages are happening from time to time. So, uh, prepping bucket with a mop and a mop every time, you probably wouldn't do it. You would just wipe it and wait until we can. I believe with this appliance, I can and I will do local mopping um, if I need to. All right. So it's a box inside the box. All right. So we've got nice branded box so it's a box i think for deliveries in case it's getting damaged the appliance itself not damaged 
So we've got uh, branded box inside, and I think there's nothing to cut. We just need to pop it in open, and the appliance will be inside. So what we've we'll got here? All right, a couple of packagings. So we've got instructions and brush. So later on I probably will show, but those couple of things help you to get a um, couple of other parts outside the mop. So there's, a, I think, a gray that separates uh, bottom and top, and also a couple of filters. So there's instructions and brush, I'll put it aside. What we've got here, it's a charger. Um, I will charge it later on. Now we've got uh, a top handle. Uh, by the way, the packaging is very nice, professional and uh, looking good. So that's the um, top handle with, I think, a screw that connects the uh, handle to appliance itself. So that's a screw and it requires flat screwdriver. Alright, I'll put it aside. Now, there's a, a sample of cleaning formula, so what it does and that's another reason why I bought this appliance. So there's no um, suction and this little bottle is enough for a lot of cleaning. So basically what it does, it's not splatters water everywhere and then picks it up. It's basically making sure that the first roll of the sponge is wet and it kind of goes and, and scrubs and picks it up all the stuff and gets it to the tray as well. So. Um, other appliances are very heavy on formula and this is I think how they make money so they sell your appliance and then there's a lot of formula chemicals to go through while you clean it but that's just my uh, theory so now we've got appliance itself it's very nicely packaged it's very professional very good so here we go we've got appliance and I'll put that handle on top and I'll screw the bolt in with my screwdriver. So it actually attaches, uh, which you will see, it's right here. Everything fits neatly. So let's talk about differences between previous model and current model. So you will know if you, if you have choice of buying one or another, what should you do? Uh, the differences are not big ones, but they're very uh, I guess thoughtful. So first biggest difference is you've got, um, by the way, that's the uh, 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 kind of jar that you put your formula in and that's the another jar that uh, exhaust of dirty water comes in. So that's the one of the differences between previous model and current model. The previous model had uh, electronic contacts which were reporting when the jar is full. This one has like almost like a, <laughs> a the toilet, um, I guess, stopper. The, like like when it's filled up with water after you're flushing, how it stops it. So it does not rely on electronics. So it's a less um, opportunity to fold. And I think that was one of the complaints of previous model that uh, when it was full, it was not reporting. It was full, right? So uh, by the way, so you put your formula here. Uh, from a bottle and it should be enough for around 60 square meters so I think I need two of those during my cleaning the battery is already installed and you've got exhaust one right now what we've got here so this is where other magic happens you've got uh, the top brush let me see if I can get it out to show you uh, Okay, so that's the top brush. What it does is brushes what you got on the floor. That's why you kind of need, don't need to vacuum. Uh, it would brush everything in the kind of tray inside and tray will keep it. So I'll just install brush back there. And you also got a sponge roller, which is the miracle of this appliance. Uh, mind you, those sponge rolls need to be changed every six months. So at the moment, it's really hard 
and please read the instructions. You cannot install it like that. It needs to be uh, preconditioned. Uh, and the reason why it needs to be preconditioned because it needs to be soft in water and made a little bit soft. So this roller will go in and after brushing, after brush will brush into the tray, it will go and sweep your floor. So that's the bionic part of the, of the mop. So my understanding that this appliance should work for uh, 50, 60 minutes and it should uh, clean with one um, canister of solution around 60 square meters of floor. So I'm anticipating that I need to uh, two goals with a formula and one battery should be enough for me to clean the whole house. So I think that should be enough about unpacking. I think it's pretty straightforward. I will charge it and I will have a couple of goals and I report uh, my, my thoughts about this appliance. But so far, I think it's pretty cool what we've got here and I'm really excited. Uh, don't judge me on that. I'm really excited to move my floors. So if you've got any questions, uh, put them uh, down below in the comments. If not, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, after I review this one by mopping. Thank you. Until next time, Greek from Brisbane, Australia.